Hi, I'm Dr. Sunanda Kane, Professor of Medicine at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. And we're going to spend a few minutes talking about a recent study that was published in the Annals of Gastroenterology in regards to inflammation of the placenta in patients who have inflammatory bowel disease. Now we know that women who have inflammatory bowel disease are on medications that are considered higher risk for pregnancy and that their disease can flare during pregnancy and that outcomes may of their children may be compromised because of that disease activity. So the investigators in this study were actually interested in looking at whether the placenta itself of women who have IBD was any more inflamed than a group of control placentas from women who didn't have inflammatory bowel disease. So they were able to look at the placental tissue of 26 women who had delivered uh, healthy children um, and the moms had inflammatory bowel disease, either Crohn's or ulcerative colitis, and compared that placental tissue to 26 women who delivered around the same time who did not have inflammatory bowel disease. And it turns out that there was no difference in terms of inflammation of that placental tissue between the women who had inflammatory bowel disease and those who didn't. So the conclusions of the investigators were that uh, despite having an autoimmune inflammatory condition that the placenta did not appear to be at any increased risk to be affected by that inflammation. Now it's very intriguing that, that we're starting to be able to look at these kinds of studies. This was very early on in terms of our knowledge base about the placenta and it was a small study and so the, the results that we can take away from here and the teaching points are that, that medications that control inflammation probably do so also for the placenta, but that's a, not a logical conclusion at this point. So my take home or takeaway message from this is that while this has been reassuring data, that it doesn't change anything that I would do and if anything actually supports the, the recommendations that we have right now about continuing anti-inflammatory medications during pregnancy to keep mom well because it appears that that also keeps the placenta uh, well as, um, keep the, keeps the placenta um, healthy as well.